So I was born here, uh, about two hours up the road in uh, Machias, Maine. And, uh, but uh, I'm from a Navy family, so there's um, not a lot of connection to this place because we moved around a lot uh, when I was a kid and, and growing up. But every time I come up here, all you have to do is look around, and especially the summertime here, that, uh, that nautical Maine harbor thing that just reaches out and speaks to me. It's, you know, there's definitely salt in my blood and it comes from this place. This is where Paul Bunyan and his blue ox babe brought the ring back to Mordor. It's the twin towers, twin twin logs, twin obelisks. Twin. And this is really narrow. <laughs> and hi. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep my eyes straight ahead. And it's vibrating. Holy crap, it's vibrating. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm uh, standing here in front of my grandmother's house. Uh, this is 9 Pleasant Street in Machias, Maine. I haven't been here since 2003. I haven't been inside the house since well before that. Uh, looking at the outside, I'm pretty sure I don't want to go in. It's a bed and breakfast now. Uh, but uh, this is where uh, I, uh, where my family started. And um, this was uh, where uh, Marion and Burton Bagley lived, uh, where my mother lived. and. Uh, this is where uh, where where I lived for a little while. Uh, above me, I'm going to turn around, turn to the side here. Above, uh, you see the two windows up at the top of the house, uh, uh, in the, the the middle part of the house, the two windows up at the top. That was my room, and that's where I stayed while uh, when I lived here and went to school, and um, uh, elementary school here at Machias Elementary. It's just down the road over there. But uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, there used to be a big pine tree right here with this tree is now. Uh, there used to be a huge pine tree there. Um, these other trees weren't here at all actually. Uh, they've been planted since, uh, since uh, I, I don't remember them, this used to be a, just a huge yard uh, and uh, we used to run all over the place. Uh, there was a plant, uh, you see these uh, blue and purple uh, blue plants over here, we planted those uh, when we lived here. There's a little bit on the other side when I turned around and went and looked at them. So uh, something here still remains. We're, uh, this is the front of my uh, uh, grandma and grandpa's house, uh, the 9 Pleasant Street. Uh, we're actually standing in the middle of Pleasant Street. Um, luckily, we're in a very small town, and I'm probably not going to get run over unless Mark is the one doing it. Uh, but uh, this is all so much smaller than I remember. I guess that happens if you ever go back to your elementary school, for example, things are always smaller than you remember. Uh, and things are smaller than I remember. A lot smaller than I remember. This road being an example. Uh, this whole town being an example. It's a whole lot smaller. The journey to get here is a lot longer than the destination seems to be worse sometimes. But this is home, and there's a car coming. So. <laughs> Where the f is my church? You might have heard me ask a moment ago, where the f is my church? Holy Name Catholic Church, where I was baptized, where I went to confirmation, where I had first communion. It's been torn down, which means there's no Catholic church in this town. Which is weird. I, this little section of Machias that we were just at is a little place called Irish Hollow. It's the That's what they call that little part of Machias. Uh, and Irish Catholics and our church is gone 
which means Father O'Hara, the perennial drunk Father O'Hara. He's gone. Where? Uh, I I don't I don't even know what to make of that. There was just nothing but brush. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Man. So we're on our way to Bog Lake. Bog Lake is a uh, well, it's a lake. Hi. Um, but it's where um, my parents wanted to retire, and their um, their last wish was for me to um, bring them home which is what we're doing right now. What I hadn't anticipated um, was the drive that it was going to take to get here, and neither did anybody else. <laughs> this is a gravel road, and if we see any kind of wild animal, we are turning around and bugging out because nobody wants to run into a bear or a branch or a, <laughs> a deer or moose or anything that um, tends to jump out of the woods up here in this part of the world. So this is Bog Lake. Uh, this is where my mom and dad wanted to retire and build a house, build a cabin. This is where they wanted to live. We passed the public access. It was a little further down the road this way, but these kind folks uh, here have uh, uh, allowed me to, or have uh, uh, given me permission to bring uh, mom and dad down to the lake and uh, scatter their ashes and fulfill the one last thing that I have to do. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, I This is kind of a pri private thing, so I'm gonna go take care of that and uh, I'll be back in a few, okay? Just all of it, she just loved this place. Did she? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll give her a sunset. Yeah. Right, we'll go right up that end, you'll see the sun down this yep. side. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, my grandfather sold uh, <laughs> cars for uh, the Ryer family for oh, a long time. Oh, yeah, Bert, Bert Bagley, did you? Yeah. 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 So what what are you recording? Like you guys doing work here in town? Or this is in? yeah a little bit. This is the first time I've been home in uh, what about thirteen years. So are you some rock star or something? No, no. we're not going to be on the reality TV. No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> So we ended up getting lost on the way to Bog Lake to take mom and dad home. And we probably would have stayed lost were not for the fact that we tried one more time and it ended up in a stranger's driveway. That stranger, you know, when you're up in Maine, strangers can do one of two things. They can either look upon you with a little kindness or they can turn a shotgun on you if you're not careful. Well, Harlan McLean was the former, not the latter. And Harlan McLean who apparently worked with my grandfather and uh, Mr. Ryer back in the 60s here at Pachayas. Uh, they, um, well, they took us out on a boat and they took us out to the middle of Bog Lake and they told me that it was their honor and their pleasure to help us uh, send mom and dad home. In the center of Bog Lake at sunset, I did what I had to do and kept the promise that I made to my parents. Machias is actually on either side of the Machias River. And uh, of course there's an area called Bad Little Falls, and that's what Machias actually means, Bad Little Falls. It runs through a little rocky area. The bridge goes over that now. And um, that's basically what it is. That's actually where the ship, the, uh, the because Machias is the site of the first uh, naval battle of the Revolutionary War. Um, the, uh, the boat, uh, well that's pretty much where they got stopped because you didn't go in too much further. Now listen up, this is very important, and that you will, there will be a test on this. If you're looking for a lobster roll, don't go anywhere else. You need to come here, because this is the lobster roll that is made at a great place, Helen's Restaurant, which is in my hometown here in Machias. Helen's has a very special significance for me because this is where my grandfather had his Rotarian meetings. He used to bring me along. He used to have old men talking about business and uh, booze and women uh, over uh, over business, booze and women. And 
and a lobster roll, and these are the best. Helen's uh, had a fire last year, and they've spent a year rebuilding. This place has been open for just a little while. I'm so glad they did, and I'm so glad that this is still a thing. Uh, yeah, let's see. In season, the town of Camden is bustling with activity. You can see all the cars going by and the people on the streets here. There's lots to do, but you got two hour parking. That should be more than enough time for you. But again, there's just lots to do down here. One thing to note though, a lot of places down here close at nine o'clock in season and eight o'clock on Sunday. So get down here and get a parking place as soon as you can and enjoy this town, it's wonderful. One of the things that you really like to do while you're here in Camden is take a windjammer cruise. Uh, there are several boats that you can uh, take a cruise that are right, docked up right here. Uh, usually a two hour ride, uh, somewhere between 40 and $60. And uh, you can go out for a two hour ride. They take you right out of the harbor into the ocean. Uh, you'll uh, enjoy lots of sun uh, and uh, it's, it's a great time. If you're looking for a classic New England town, Camden, Maine has to be what you're looking for. I, I used to come here as a kid. Uh, my grandparents used to bring me to this harbor to watch a seal named Andre perform, and he used to perform right over there. Uh, now, of course, they built it up here. Uh, you can, if you look around, you can see uh, there's a, a lot of inns and hotels and restaurants that aren't here anymore, but the class, the harbor itself still right here, and it's as beautiful as ever. And the second I got here, this is kind of when I came home. Uh, the salt, uh, the salt uh, of the sea here hitting your nose, and the sunlight, and the boats on the ocean, and the sound of the uh, the water and the boats. Um, that's that's kind of a home for me, you know. I'm, I'm my inner pirate kind of thing. But uh, this was a beautiful experience all week long that we've been here, and uh, I love it, and I want to come back.